Hey, what's up friends? Coach Smith here from CrossFit by Design and today we're going to talk about cleaning up your scap or your shoulder blade. Basically, this guy here. So, if you imagine this to be my spine and this is my shoulder blade, when I'm using the lacrosse ball, I just want to get, I want to stay on the outer edges of my uh, shoulder blade, my scap. So I don't want to have any direct pressure on my spine or any direct pressure like right on my shoulder blade. So, first thing you can do, Grab a lacrosse ball, doesn't need to be anything fancy. Um, I think you can pick them up for around six bucks. And then I'll just place that bad boy on the deck. And then from here, what I like to do is I sort of wrap my shoulders up like this. And then what I do from here is just relax back into the ball. So take a deep breath and then just relax. What I can also do once I've shifted around a bit play around with it is I can bridge up a little bit, so I come up, take some load, and I kind of use that as my tensioner. So that'll help me put some more uh, weight into it rather than just kind of relaxing on the ear. I can also, oh god damn, I found it, I found those spots. Uh, anyway, sorry. <laughs> so once I've cleaned up a little bit through there, staying nice and relaxed, so remember with all that mobility stuff, we want to be as relaxed as possible. So obviously I want to push to a point where I'm uncomfortable, but I never want to be in a lot of pain because that's going to sort of, you know, my nervous system starts to freak out. I need to be, you know, sort of relaxed. Edge of the pain cave, not going deep into the pain cave. So once I've done a little bit of this action, what I can do then is chuck my arm behind on my back. So balls on my right side at the moment, put my right arm behind on my back. And then I can do something similar. So what this does, if you saw, like when we did the start of the video, is to show you my scap, I put my arm behind my back like that and it really kind of opened up and my scap kind of winged out. That's what I'm trying to achieve here. So once I've cleaned up without doing that, then I'll open it up a little bit more and just allow the cross ball to get into just some, I guess, some, some more corners of your scap. I can do the similar thing there whereby I raise up, say I'm nice and tight, and then just relax. Keep moving around, keep finding spots, you know, this would be an awesome thing to do for probably like three to five minutes or until you feel like you're not creating any change. You probably create a change for 10 to 20 minutes, but you don't want to spend that long on it. Three to five minutes would be great. So I start out on that. And then pretty much what I'm trying to do here is with a lacrosse ball, think of it as like freeing my shoulder up and then I grab something like the band and tell my shoulder where to go. So what I'll do is I can press forward, take some big load here, let my shoulders sink back, abs on nice and tight, and I just move through this kind of pressing motion, abs tight, I can rotate a bit as well. So I'm trying to set that shoulder back. So I, you know, I free it up. If I'm somebody who hangs out here all day, typing, you know, doing whatever, then I can free it up and then set it back here into a really strong, like much stronger, much better position. So start out on the cross ball, three to five, Couple minutes aside on the band, moving through the press. Um, and yeah, you'll have a much stronger position, better position for, you know, not only for crossfit movements, just but just a better, healthier shoulder position in general. Aye?